Alright, it's Ross Raven, aka the first Yordle. And in this one, we're playing Nar against Shin, so that should be a fun one. It's a tank matchup. Usually, my my idea is Nar is really good against tanks. Um, so, unless I want to spam it just to get a really good feel for the champion, I will only play it in those kinds of matchups, right? Anti tank, go against tanks. Makes sense, right? So. My strategy against the Shivana a little bit different than for most junglers. I can just poke the Shen, because it's hard for Shivana to get a good gank off. If you can just uh, make sure that the Shen doesn't destroy you, you should be fine in that one, right? Like, it's not one playing against a Warwick and you're just scared of the level 3 gank. I can just poke the Shen. Uh, that, is, that is my strategy, instead of shopping, right? That shield of his, that blocks a lot of damage level 1. I will need um, to punish him level 2, most of all, right? Because then I actually get some damage of my own. Because if Boomerang doesn't do shit, it's just not a lot of damage, what can I say? He has Dorans. So, mostly just focus on CSing the poke. Is, is something I'm also working on, but CSing takes priority almost any case. So just take him and make sure that I miss as little as possible. I already missed one. All right. Not perfect, but also not terrible. So with this big of a minion wave, I and the Volley Bear has gone for the topside route. Obviously, it's very hard for them to do anything if the Volley Bear is around. The worst times to get ganked is when the lane isn't in a very advantageous position for you for whatever reason, health bar or the actual literal position of the lane. Whoa, just a second, focusing on that CS thing. Ah, well, I. Oh my goodness. Anyway, looking at this here, that's interesting. Alright. He's gonna get a little bit of flame. <laughs> I have no idea what that's about. What is that? I could spend a ward. But yeah, the worst time to get ganked is when your lane is in a disadvantageous position for whatever reason. And, or, or even, and your jungler is on the other side of the map and you're about to get ganked. That is the worst thing that can happen, right? If your jungler can help out and you can survive long enough, all that kind of stuff makes it more complicated. But that would just be the doom scenario, right? And after that come the nuances, like, can I or can I not escape this? Alright, I've missed, like, Five or six CS, very, very sloppy. Very, very sloppy. But this is not very high elo. Uh, so I do have big margins to work with. Wow. Wow. That's not good. So this would be a time where I don't want to get Shivana ganked. I have no vision, so this is very dangerous. So that tone made me think that she, made me assume that Shivana was there, but apparently she's not. And I just dropped my boomerang, so I lost a lot of laning pressure. But that's all right. That's a very early taunt. Alright, if she flashes, I'm not gonna flash until she flashes, right? I knew, I know her damage output, I saw her pop out the Q already, she played that very poorly, she should have eat me first and then do an auto Q, then I would have had to flash before that, and she might have even gotten me if she flashed, right? So that is very poorly played by her, I just made sure. Also, very, very big mistake, I don't understand this, that this can happen in Platinum ELO, but they still don't understand. You need to save that taunt. You need to auto attack 
auto attack, and then when I threaten to jump away because Shivana is right behind me, that's when you taunt. You want to taunt when there's an ally of yours pounding on someone, right? Not when you're alone and you're doing absolutely no damage to someone. So that's just that little bit of misplaying, right? Discoordination that saves me there. So I'm very happy with that. And that is the rough thing is she has to loop all the way around. It's gonna take a while for her to get there, right? So that is not that's not the same as when he taunts here and she's already here walking in like she was all the way up there. So I could have died on that because I only warded one side. Very risky, right? So I'm gonna do the same thing now and hoping that again I can get away that they don't coordinate this perfectly with superb force. What I can also opt for is just not pushing for a second, not poking, not pushing, just farming up. Because you know, Nar's not the strongest laner, I can't kill Shen or anything, right? I can just try to farm from a distance and just wait it out a little bit. That is also fine. And now he's slightly pushing, and it's very hard for him, as you can tell. Oh, he's thinking about ulting, I think. Right, he's maybe ulting to bot lane. Right, perhaps not. So this way, he's pushing into me, and he's even scared to go near the minions. I don't know why. I mean, you're allowed to take poke, right? But look at how back he, how far he backs off. He is... In in my in his eyes, I'm a god. I'm a god. He doesn't want to touch me. I'm all right with that. I don't disagree. I, I disagree. I don't think I can kill him. But if he wants to play that way, I am all right with that. Like, look at that CS lead. I am. I'm very comfortable playing with like this. If he wants to let me freeze and do whatever he's doing right now. Not CS, at least, right? That is fine with me. Look, he's full health. You're allowed to drop a little bit of health, you know. Shove in and then back. You can shove me in, that's fine. You can back off, you can back. You can get that 10 extra CS back, miss three of them, right? And then, then you, you gain overall CS, right? That's what you take the damage for. Look at this, he's gonna miss a cannon minion because he doesn't want to get hit. Very extreme. Okay. I sacrificed a very important minion for that. Oh, wow. I didn't expect him to suddenly start changing his laning, laning pattern. Very strange. Not a lot of people do that. That means I'm now screwed. I screwed myself over there. Because now the lane is in an awkward position and suddenly I'm very low. So this is a big, big, big blunder by me. I hope I can survive it and just reset afterwards and not, you know, lose the game over this. Alright, a little bit sloppy on CSing again. We got an ocean, so I have that little bit more health regeneration working for me. He might have gone back, that's fine with me. And although we CS sloppily, we lost like 10 of them, right? At least 100 CS at 11, at, at before 11 min minutes. I mean, no, I might not reach it. That's not terrible. 
Now we can just take this opportunity. We healed back up. And now we can actually poke him again. So we made a very big mistake. We misplayed it hard. But we made sure not to, d to die for it. To respect him. Let him take over the lane for a little bit. And then when it resets, we're good to go. Alright. Looking good. And you want to evaluate, do I need to be there? Because I don't want to TP there if I don't have to, since I can get a turret over here. So if they can hold that on their own, then great, right? So you don't just want to say, oh god, there's a fight going on, I have TP, I should go there. You have to evaluate, is it necessary? That's not always an easy evaluation to make. Now, they already got the first turret, so there's not, not a gold bonus sitting on this, but it's still a turret, you know. The earlier, the better. Well then. Well then, hello. Hello. Pleased to meet you. Wow. Can I kill that? One auto? Two autos. Okay, I can kill that. Alright, a flash for a flash. Now, I didn't know that she has flash, so it's a little bit of a high... This we call a high variance play, right? This play would work if she doesn't have flash, and I have no idea if she has flash. It might not get communicated by my team, right? So I just don't know. And in the case that she doesn't, then I kill her. And maybe if I played a little bit better, if I didn't use my abilities preemptively, who knows, right? It would just be if I auto attack the turret instead, right? There's different ways to play that that might have resulted in a better outcome. Now, Shivana does auto attack damage, so I'm gonna buy Ninja Tabai because Shen also does auto attacks. But I don't mind much for the fact that I could go with Tenacity. I think. Going for Ninja Tabai when there's that many strong auto attacks is, is better. So look at that. Even though we s CS sloppily, we still have quite a nice CS, CS advantage for us, right? And now we have an item over Shen. Nobody, nobody thought of running this way. That is great. That is fantastic. Alright, that's unlucky. I really thought we could get that kill, but Isaiah was scared to do anything. She has flash. I really, really think she could have done something there. I really think the volley bear could have done something there. He ran mid lane. I don't think he was aware of the situation. But that's alright, you know, that's alright. Our, our, our teammates are making mistakes here, but so are our enemies, you know. If you ever feel like you're frustrated with your teammates, take a good hard look at your enemies and think like, what if they were my teammates? Would I be satisfied? And after the answer is no, right? And then you realize how hypocritical it is to be frustrated with your teammates. Because you're not frustrated with your enemies, are you? I mean, that would be exceptional. So, just keep that in mind, you know. Like, when you feel frustrated like that. That can really help you out, hopefully. It helps me out, at least. So that's why I'm sharing it. That's just one way to, you know, one little trick of mine. Make sure that the wolves don't suddenly drop back through the camp by jumping over them. Let's see if we can do some damage to this turret. Let's take it easy. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand the turret's target.
the, as long as the Tristana stays at that distance, she shouldn't get caught. Now, so, uh, some people on the team are dead, and she's getting closer here. I don't know if I can animation cancel that if I do it faster. Oh, that's a large angle. I didn't expect that. Luckily, not a crucial stun. Let's see if they have any vision there. No, they don't. Oh, whoops. I can use the Rift Scuttler for a speed boost. I'm not doing that entirely appropriately right now. If I did, then I would have had, had a cannon. So you can see lots of gold left and right to pick up on if I played more accurately, right? That's the thing. I can just keep pushing with my team. When a team backs off, I back off. It's a good idea usually to pressure with your team, right? Wow, that did very little to his health bar. Oh, I still have a big buy, of course. Okay, that didn't kill it anymore. So while that shenanigans are going on in the bot lane, you always want to keep that, that map awareness up, right? Like, have an idea of when, especially when you're pushing, right? I'm CSing here. Oh, I got hit by that auto attack on max range. I did not expect that, act, to be fair. I should have eat sooner. I should have probably not CS three minions. Mistakes galore. Mechanical mistakes galore. And then in the end, Completely disrespecting the taunt, right? Just completely being like, oh, I'm fine. I can just eat out of the last auto, right? And and it takes a charge of time. You 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 sort of take a while to jump forward, right? And you just see, like, don't disrespect, man. Now you're 0 and 1 and 0. You look like a noob. And now this guy's in a little bit of trouble. Oh, shit, that hit a minion. Very interesting. Vladimir decides to take a look. What? That is not how you do that ability. Alright, so... Sloppiness all around. And I haven't been able to pick up on any kills. But the fact that we're CSing well, look at that CS. Who's who's got more gold right now? I can tell you who's got more gold. I've got more gold. Right? So CSing is very important. And pressure is very important. Look at the turret. Who has a turret, right? So don't just be demotivated when you die once in a lane like this, right? You did something with all that pressure. You couldn't kill him, but you did something else important. You got turrets, and you got farm. And those things are worth more gold than a single kill. I can tell you that right now. I, I could bait this out more, but I'm, I don't think it's a good idea given that there's three people pushing mid as well. And that, you know, she, Shen could ultimate in. Rather do it like this. Oh my goodness. Nobody else is here. Look at that. Talia didn't hop over a wall. He, she hopped on the wall, but she actually didn't. So now... Zaya, who should have rotated mid, and Atalia, who tried to hop on her wall, both fucked up. Because Zaya can't push this bot lane, so she's just getting 6 CS for 2 turrets mid, right? 
So there's absolutely no rea no reason, sorry, to do that. And you can see that the volley bear was also like, what? she got tier two but I should apologize you should if you're wrong in something be the bigger man right apologize all right now we can still do something here like attack the Shen I don't know why the Lulu is backing off here uh, Shen is our target yes he's a tank doesn't matter he's our target in case you haven't noticed No, you're going in too soon, my friend. All right, he still got him. He still got him. We need to say it there. Use it for speed boost and get there. Ah, that is a good value redemption. I like it. We might be able to make this work. And he smites it at 400 health. That is not a good thing to do. Yes, that is not good. True. That wasn't even close. To being close it wasn't even close to being close to being close it was a horrendous smite if I can be so honest if I can be so honest that was a horrendous smite now you can miss it you can miss the 50 50 one if she times it well it's no problem Missing it like that? Oh goodness, oh goodness. You deserve a little bit of blowback from that. You know, like, there's a difference between being being genuinely toxic and just calling people out on stupid stuff they do. That's fine, right? You should be allowed to say negative things. That's not always toxic. Apparently it took a lot of effort to kill the bard. I think I got stunned or something by something. Because I tried to throw out my Q, but it didn't work. I didn't throw out the Q. I didn't miss it. I just didn't press the ability. So either I misclicked, maybe I did it before the cooldown was back up or something, but that was not good. At least we still won the fight because we had a pretty good engage there. I waited for the Shen to try and taunt in. So they were pro both pretty useless in that team fight. One thing I want to comment on, right, is that a Shen is good at, at delivering map pressure. So splitting and then using his ultimate to get to a team fight. But in a all-out team fight where everyone is present, I can tell you right now that Nar is much, much better. So um, Nar will have an advantage in a fight like that because Shen cannot ult. It's just, they're just everyone's just crawling around fighting. And then that case, yeah, Nara outperformed Shen, who would have thought, right? So obviously you have to think about strength and weaknesses in a fight like that. If I were playing Kled, right, Kled is horrible at team fighting. I wouldn't go for an engage like that with everyone there to back the Bard up, unless I think I could kill him before anyone arrives, right? So very important to keep that in mind. Why we have some shenanigans going on. I'm gonna... Yeah, I see him. I see him. No problem. Oh, the Tristana. Now that's, that's a little bit more spicy. 
Oh, no reason to be sloppy on the CS, though. Alright, the Zaya CSing up well. We've been overtaken in terms of most CS in the game by two people. Both are teammates, so that's very good. I don't mind that. As long as it's our teammates and our enemies. Oh, we're going for an engage. That is a little bit forced, my friend. But I'm alright with force engages. Those are my specialty. And now I need to get the hell out. Stun the Tristana. Trying to stun the Tristana. Back off, back off, back off. I didn't back off in time. I didn't back off. Little bit of positional error. But overall, the team fight, the way we played it, was good enough. It was not bad. The way we ulted and then stunned and then backed off. Made sure we kept a little bit of distance. Attacked Vladimir, and then, you know, like, after that, at the end, I got the Tristana stun as well. I just didn't instantly move command back. I think I had a little bit of hesitation that killed me. But we won the fight nonetheless, right? Like, at that point, I have done my job. I have I've used my ultimate well on, on the back line. What more can I want? At that point, you've already won the fight. So, good stuff, right? Good stuff. That's, that's how you play now, right? Like, that is with a firm understanding of how this champion is played. Alright, make sure that I can get out of there. Because my teammates, they were very far back, right? So be very careful with that. You always want to notice where your teammates are, right? In the team fight. Don't just assume that once they're fighting, they're always going in. They might be going back. This is stupid, but I'm already in this situation, so I might as well kill someone. So, as soon as I noticed, like, oh my, there's four people here, of course. I was like, let's make the best of the situation and at least kill the Tristana. Just run it down. Just run it down. It's not a joke, I think, but I mean, it should be a joke. It's, it's 133. We can take Nash, there's no reason to rush it, you know. I ain't got a train to catch, I have plenty of time. If we can, then do it. It's safe. Yes, indeed. Indeed, safety is the key word when you're ahead like this. Trying not to throw away your lead for no reason is the key word here. They don't scale tremendously much better. They might have, like, an, on six items, sure, they might be a little bit better, but look at the Shen. He has three items, right? I have three and a half item. So that's not really the issue here. Guys, what the fuck? Come. If the team calls Nasher and you disagree with it, the call is to go Nasher. You don't always get to decide for your team the reality of it. Now, if the Volley Bear would be AFK, that would be an interesting twist this game. Now, I don't understand why we're... I'm fine with pressuring this for another 10 seconds. After that, I think we should make a move. Alright. Kaboom! Skadoosh! Everybody dead! Alright! Run it down! That was the end of the game. I don't know if they're trying to catch me. They're trying to catch me. But that doesn't work. I have a jump! If you're not taunt flashing on that, I mean, let's be honest, if he taunt flashed on that, would I die instantly? No. I'm a tank. I'm not squishy anymore. This is not level 3, right? I'm a tank. Alright, guys, that was a fun one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a like. And um, furthermore, if you want to see content similar to this in the future, consider subscribing. You'll get notified when I produce more of this content which i certainly will so hope you guys enjoyed it see you in the next one